Yo, what is going on guys? My name is NZ Rookie, and today I'm going to tell you exactly how to become a more aesthetic male in 2023. Okay, there's gonna be zero bullshit. There's not gonna be a single buy my program for $42.99 a month and I'll tell you one secret per week for a foot massage and a fucking ice cream down the back of the throat. I'm gonna give you every single tool you need so that you can transform yourself exactly like I did for zero cost, zero nothing. All you need to do is watch this video and apply yourself. So let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, why would you listen to me? Why listen to me rather than someone who's been bodybuilding for years, who clearly knows their stuff, someone like Mike O'Hearn. And the truth behind why you wanna to listen to me is because no one can relate to Mike O'Hearn. Who do you know that looks like Mike O'Hearn? So I'm nearly 20. I went through a transformation when I was about 15 from looking like this to looking like this. Do I look like Mike O'Hearn? No, but my transformation was natural. It was real. I did everything by the book and I'm gonna give you every single tool you're gonna need to do the exact transformation I did without talking about duck eggs or any of that nonsense. Okay, so like I mentioned, this is a no bullshit guide, okay? So I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it. Now, there is a list of steps you're gonna need to follow in order to do this. Now obviously men, we wanna become aesthetic for different reasons, whether it's your own self-confidence, you wanna feel good at the beach with your shirt off, you're trying to impress a lady, you think it's gonna help with your business success. Whatever your reason is to become a more aesthetic man, it doesn't matter. Any person that tells you that they do not want to improve the way they look is lying, okay? They just feel like shit about how they look. But the beautiful thing is, the coolest thing is about this is that anyone can change the way they look. It doesn't take money, you can't pay anyone to do it, you have to put in the work yourself, okay? It is the most real, most fair thing you can possibly do. Now, I'm gonna tell you, there are a list of things you need to follow, a list of protocols you need to follow if you want to get to where you want to be. If you wanna transform yourself from not happy, overweight, you don't like how you look, to the point where you're happy with how you look, you feel confident. However, none of the things in that list are gonna help you if you do not have the discipline to apply yourself. So before I give you the list of protocols you need to do, I'm first gonna give you a tool. Okay, what this tool is gonna do is it's gonna help you unlock your potential. Now, as soon as I start to mention things on this list, training four to five times a week, ensuring you're putting in effort, 45 minutes to an hour of effort in every single time, being in a caloric deficit, losing weight, all of these things I mentioned, especially because they're something that requires physical prowess, instantly your brain, your brain's ticking over and it's filling your head with as many excuses as you can. Okay, I know this, I've been there. Right now is not a good time because you've got exams coming up. You don't wanna change your body composition because you play a certain sport and you have to be a certain way. Your left foot is injured so you can't do as much cut. It, the point is, it doesn't matter, I could go on, but we'd all be lying to ourselves if we said, as soon as I don't mention unlocking your potential and applying yourself, your brain just fills your mind with all these excuses. So now I'm gonna explain the tool to unlocking your potential and staying disciplined. So, the excuse, whatever it is, your brain pops into your mind that's preventing you from achieving your goal, I want you to hold that thought in your mind. Grab a pen at the top of the piece of paper, write down the goal you want to achieve. I wanna improve the way I look. Beneath that goal, you're gonna write down every thought that's popped into your mind while you've been watching this video as to why you can't achieve that goal. I won't be able to drink alcohol. I won't be able to do my favorite donut extravaganza on Sundays that I always do. I won't be able to go out and have a meal with my dad. I want da 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 da. Whatever it is, jot it down. Then beneath it, you're gonna write these three things. You're gonna write, this won't affect me because. Then beneath that, you're gonna write, despite this problem, I can. And then the last one, beneath that, you're gonna write, I can still get this done if I. Then next to those three statements, you're gonna write exactly what it is that applies to you that you need to do to get this done. And all this tool is gonna do is exposed to you that there is a way that you can get this done and that you are being a pussy. Right, you're being a pussy. You're being, you're being a little, you're being a little bitch. But it's a beautiful thing and the reason it's a beautiful thing is because the male ego, the egocentric being we have inside of us is real. So when you write that down and you expose to yourself how much of a, how much of a bitch you're being, it should ignite the fire within you. The only way you're gonna get closer to your goal if you're in this period, this rut where you can't 
find the discipline in order to get there is by tapping into your ego and finding out for real that you're, be you're being a bitch. And once that realization comes, once you have that clear path that you've literally just written down every single answer as to how to solve this problem, it's going to be right in front of you. You're not going to have a single excuse. And that's just tool one. That's the first tool I've given you. So now that you have the most effective tool in order to ensure you can unlock your potential and that you have the discipline to follow the list of rules and protocols I'm about to give you, it's time to expose that list. So firstly, you have to build a decent amount of muscle. In every action movie, every movie star, every superhero, it doesn't matter who they are, they have a foundation of muscle. Models, people at the beach, calisthenics athletes, gymnasts, they all have a degree of muscle mass. Right, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how to get there. So you're gonna need to train four to five times a week for 45 minutes to 60 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna put a list up on the screen, the hierarchy of muscle groups that I would deem the most aesthetic. These are the muscle groups you are gonna focus on. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna structure your training by picking key compound lifts that target these muscles. So for example, the most aesthetic muscle group is the shoulders, you're gonna pick a compound movement that targets the shoulders. For example, the overhead press. You're gonna do in between eight to 12 reps, three sets of that, and all you're gonna do is focus on getting stronger every single session. Progressively overloading, moving more weight, moving more mass, and therefore building more muscle. And that protocol is literally the only protocol you need to follow, provided you have good technique, and just apply it to every single muscle group. Now shoulders is an easy example, a more difficult example is abs, okay, so not every gym has an ab machine. So for instance, you might start with doing five minute ab workouts on the ground using your body weight only. Then you might progress to doing still five minute ab workouts because it's all you can fit in in your supposedly busy schedule. But now instead of doing it on the ground, you're doing it on a pull up bar. The effect of gravity is now much higher because instead of being on the ground, you're on a pull up bar. The angle of resistance is therefore more difficult. Therefore, you're progressively overloading. Arms, chest, legs, whatever it is, keep your form good, lift more weight. Simple. So the training part's easy, right? All you have to do is pick five to six exercises, train four to five times per week, do reps of between eight and 12, and do three or four sets. Simple, done. But the key thing that people miss when it comes to looking aesthetic, when it comes to that beach body, when it comes to you know looking at actors on the big screen, and when they just look shredded and you want that physique, is the critically low body fat you need to have. Okay, this is the most important thing. It's what is gonna make the muscle you've built pop. Okay, now I'm not an enormous human. I'm, I'm not, like compared to a lot of people, my muscle mass isn't huge. But I have mastered, literally, mastered the ability to get extremely lean and therefore make my physique look the best it possibly can. And all you need to do is one thing, calorie deficit, right? Everyone says that, everyone knows that, but it's how you create that calorie deficit that's important. So the first thing to make that calorie deficit easier is eat more protein. Protein is literally a cheat code, mate. Like, you know in Grand Theft Auto when you do up, down, left, right, square, triangle, X, and it gives you a freaking free car, right? Protein is like that, but for getting lean, okay? It literally does that exact cheat code inside your body, and it burns calories literally digesting it. If you sit there scoffing your face with some steak, you're literally burning more calories by doing that than if you were, say, scoffing yourself with chips. Okay, your body's the controller and protein is the cheat code. Pick lean sources of protein that are gonna fill you up. Eat at least 200, if not more grams a day of that protein because protein's an interesting molecule. Not only is it the most satiating, it'll keep you the most full, it's also the most thermogenic. So your body literally burns a quarter of the calories of that protein you ingest. So if you ingest a thousand calories of protein, your body will burn 250 calories simply digesting it. So not only is it keeping you more full, it's making you burn more calories, it's helping you build muscle which makes you burn more calories. It's like a triple whammy. Eat more protein. Good sources of lean protein are the following. Egg whites, steak, skin off chicken breast, protein powder. I would say those are the best four sources that I can think of off the top of my head. And for the most part, it's all you need. Next up, obviously, if we're talking about ingesting stuff, we've talked about ingesting food in the form of protein. Ingest water. It's as simple as that. Just a rule of thumb, drink five liters of water a day. Okay, firstly, you're gonna be going to the toilet more, so you're doing more steps, racking up, burning more calories. Secondly, it keeps your stomach more full. You're way less inclined to binge eat if your stomach already has that layer of water in there. 
You can also drink other zero calorie alternatives. Okay, so sparkling water is good. Some people like the fizzy nature. They find that it helps prevent them from getting hungry. Sparkling water is good. You can drink low calorie monsters. Okay, caffeine, it's a stimulant. So A, it's gonna slightly increase the number of calories you're burning. And it has been shown to prevent hunger as well as coffee as well. Okay, so hot drinks, especially when you wake up, are gonna help you go longer without eating. Okay, intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is a tool that I've used over the years. It's very effective. It's literally where you just don't eat for the first couple hours of the day. So I usually have my first meal around midday, one o'clock if I'm cutting. I find it really easy. That way I can eat exactly what I want in the afternoon and not worry about my overall calorie deficit. Some people don't like it, but it is a tool you can try to use if you want to. And the final tip is still find a way to enjoy the foods that you like, okay? So what I did when I was cutting, when I was intermittent fasting, I'd always break my fast with the same meal every day and it was literally chocolate banana ice cream, okay? I had a recipe on how I made this. It was super low calorie. I used like egg whites, frozen berries, ice, put like powdered peanut butter, like PB2 on top of it. And it was, it was like 60 grams of protein and only had like 400 calories. That said, it still gave me that sensation, still had the same taste of literally eating like the nicest, the nicest, the iciest, niciest Ben and Jerry's peanut butter cup. You know, it could have been delicious. Point is, it reminded me of that sensation, therefore I didn't get sick of it. And it was a super effective tool, despite it being healthy, super effective tool to help me lose weight. So do your own research, find foods you enjoy, go out, buy ingredients that you need, and make it sustainable. And literally all the information I've just given to you is everything you need to know on how to do it. Now it is literally a matter of you getting up, out of your chair, off your phone, and doing it. Okay, you have to just do it. And the best way you're gonna get up and do it is by using that tool I gave you at the start of the video. Okay, you're gonna convince yourself to stop being a pussy. You're gonna ego trip yourself. You're gonna convince yourself to stop being a little bitch. You're gonna get after it. I know you got it in you. If I can do it, you can do it. Anyone can do it. Fuck Mike O'Hearn. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.